This is a quick video over the Prandtl number. Prandtl number and what it is used for. And most of the time you just look up, it's unique to each type of fluid or just, yeah, any type of fluid. It's unique to that fluid. And it's usually only for fluids you probably would never see it for a solid. And it's usually written as PR, which is equal to the molecular diffusion of momentum momentum over the molecular diffusion of heat. And it is written as the kinematic viscosity over alpha, where alpha represents the molecular diffusion of heat. And it can also be written as the viscosity times the heat capacity over the K value of the liquid or fluid of the fluid. So let's do, so the Prandtl number for a gas, any gas, is about 0, 7 to 1. So that indicates the molecular diffusion of momentum is about the same as the molecular diffusion of heat. And what do we really mean about that? So let's, if we were to draw a cylinder, or a pipe, if we were to draw a pipe and pump a gas through, there wouldn't really be, it'd be mostly, it would be turbulent. There wouldn't, I mean, the sides would be going about as fast as a center. And if we were to heat the pipe, heat, heat, the walls might be, oh, let's say the, it's a hundred degree wall. So the gas right next to the wall would probably be a hundred degrees. The gas right next to the, or in the center might be maybe 99 degrees and 100 degrees. So the fusion of heat through the wall or through the gas is relatively quick and it's and there's no real uh, momentum gradient. Or if we did it for an oil, where the Prandtl number of oil is approximately 100 to 100,000. To 100,000. So what is that saying? Well that's saying that fits a hundred thousand a hundred thousand that's saying the molecular diffusion of heat is extremely small to the molecular diffusion of momentum so even though oils are relatively are relatively viscous or I believe viscous well those are actually supposed to attach oh, there we go where they have a viscosity of approximately about a thousand centipoise or uh, water H2O has a viscosity so the viscosity of water is about a 0 0.9 that's huge but the transfer of heat where if we heated this from both sides so heat where the wall was a hundred degrees Celsius the maybe right next to the wall is 100 degrees Celsius, but in the center it might just be still 30 degrees Celsius. So the transfer of heat is extremely small, or the diffusion of heat is extremely small to the diffusion of momentum, where momentum is just maybe eddies forming. So even though it has a high viscosity and it's not really diffusing, because it still has a diffusion gradient of momentum, it's the diffusion gradient of heat is much, much larger than the diffusion gradient of momentum. And there's actually, a, we can go to the other side where if we did the Prandtl number, whoops, PR of mercury, it's approximately 0 0.015. And remember, the Prandtl number is a dimensionless unit. I may have not mentioned it. It's dimensionless, it has no units. So, so, unitless, unitless, no units, no units. So mercury, it has a viscosity of, Hg has a viscosity of about uh, 1.5, I believe, centipoise. So if we were to draw it in a tube, and depending on the flow, 
we could say most likely it's probably turbulent. So if it's turbulent, there's probably eddies forming, depending on the speed and the diameter of the tube, but let's just assume it's turbulent. And we can assume that because 1.5 centipoise is not really that that viscous in comparison to maybe an oil or honey. So how does it transfer heat? Heat. So if we applied heat, applied heat, so this is maybe 100 degrees Celsius. The inside would be 100 degrees Celsius because it's a metal. And this would probably also be 100 or 99 degrees Celsius. Down here, it'd probably be 100 degrees Celsius. I mean, metals transfer heat very good. They have high K values. So very high K values, where we said that the Prandtl number, the Prandtl number was equal to the viscosity times the heat capacity all over K. So this K for mercury is high. And that's pretty much one. And it's heat capacity, I'm not sure about its heat capacity, but I mean, we'll assume it has a higher heat capacity than water. We, can, we could maybe even assume it has 20, but comparison, I mean, let's just say it has a very high heat capacity. But in comparison to its K value, which is very high, we get 0 0.015. And if you actually do the math, this does cancel out all the units. So that is the very basics of the Prandtl number.